It's like uh, the Cassini Survivor Die. It's a repeat on Monday. I'm just going to go through this. See if anything's changed or not. Seems odd that they would put this in again for since it was already there on Friday. It's Labor Day, so I'm not sure if I'll get any hits or not. It also just went live. Get that orc on cells, but really, I have so many of those I really don't need any. Well, I'll go through it once at least. Oh. You will be providing support today. Your job is to distract the enemy while Alpha Team raids the ship for much needed supplies. Make your presence known. This might actually be different than before. Even if it's the same thing, I might just throw the video up since uh, I've gotten more upgrades in between uh, videos. Oh no! This is my older gun, I'm just I'm trying to level it up. It's like Kunai's uh, stand on their own. When I get to the point where I need a weapon. These things are fucking beasts. Also my crappy sword, I got a new axe, so and I'm out of inventory space, I'm just trying to level these guys up. Since I don't want to get rid of them before getting the rank up points from them. Definitely is the easier of all of them. Even if you get to that other point with those uh, poison things, you can hide from them. Or get to higher ground and they can't hurt you. Just shown before. We're nanospores! Oh, uh, 60%? No, it's not worth using that yet. Also was able to pick up, since I got so many mods from this uh, weekend, I was able to get the blueprint for the Sentinel. I just need to get circuit board and I'll be able to get that guy up and running, which will help me tremendously. Got the Death Cube. Thought it looked the coolest. I got its uh, both of its mods, the laser and the Gatling gun, so... They're not upgraded or anything, but it's still nice to have it. So they can actually have the abilities and whatnot. Next thing I'm going to purchase for this character is uh, the Rhino uh, blueprint. I know I need to build the parts of the body and whatnot, which I don't have. It's going to take a little bit to get that, but I want the. Damn it. I want the blueprint at least. So got the decoy. Oh, tons of enemies start coming in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw a message up on uh, Twitter and my channel. But I'm gonna have to stop doing uh, arcade dailies, unfortunately. Because a lot of them uh, have music from other stuff and they get hit with third party content match is kind of annoying. And that's not going to change anytime soon since I don't know the randomness of the levels I'm playing. So I'm going to try to look into something else I can do for a daily. I'm not sure yet what it is. This I'm uh, putting into my uh, longer playthrough slot next to dust so I can't do this. 
I would do Guild Wars 2, but everything about that game has third-party content match, and they have a hard-on for against uh, YouTubers, so... The way I factor in my stuff is whether or not they allow monetization. I totally butchered that word, but I'm not actually putting ads on the videos, but um, if they actually allow ads, that means they won't have any problems with you just throwing up videos, and you won't get any problems with content matches or copyright notices or any other other crap. That helps me decide what videos I'm actually going to put up on to the YouTubes. All the YouTubes. <laughs> Alright, kunai time. Pop out a decor and start getting these knives out. No, don't go to that, please. Just get out real fast, too. Oh, I need to get rid of that, uh area effect bullet thing because it's useless here. Let me try to throw some other random stuff on. I'm not sure if I'll be farming this one since I've already farmed it. I got like 20 to 30,000 of each of the materials, except for the rare ones, which I only have like 30 to 40 of, I think. But like the plastids and the nanospores, I have so much of them, and I'll be set for a while. By the time I'll need more, I'll already have the campaign stuff done, so I can easily find a defense mission to farm. The good thing would be for this would be ranking up, which I might still do, and getting the mods. Wish we could sell materials. If we could sell materials, I would do that. Or have some sort of auction house in place. We can throw the materials up. They're probably sell for crap numbers because everyone has so many of the materials. But they won't do that because you can buy it with platinum. So why put it up on the auction house? For the most part, the pay part of this game isn't too bad. It's just basically to get there faster. The only not problem I have with, but the only annoying one is the Warframe. We have to get like each part of the body piece. Which I, I don't know if I need to get the blueprints for those or not. If I don't have to get the blueprints for those, then it's not bad at all. Because I'm sure I have materials for it. But if you have to go and get the blueprints for all of them. Like you get the Rhino Frame, but you need to get the blueprint for this set body piece for heavy characters. This set head piece. And that starts to get to annoying. So many of them. Start using my powers. <laughs> so busy just throwing knives at their face. I just love that I hardly ever run out out of ammo for this. Cause by the time I need more pistol ammo, like 50 of them died, and probably like three spawns of it on the floor. You should try it out on the high level uh, tentacle monster things. It always kill me before when I played through this. Anything over here? Is, is everyone, oh, is everyone, uh, yeah, everyone is here. Okay, cool. How many people? Is just two others? Oh. Yeah, I don't need to be down here, or up there just yet. I'm not being that much hurt. I can get some uh, points from my gun. Well, I'm not doing much damage with it. You definitely have to worry about air anytime soon. Give me those mods.
figure I'd use a bunch of for the ammo, get some points for it. Yeah, that really sucks about the daily because I like doing the random little arcade stuff. Even though I didn't have any AI working on uh, most of them, it was still fun just to look at the levels people create and the work they put into them. I mean, I may, I may not find a game that I can do for a daily. I have to stick with the other stuff I have going. There's a ton of these guys now. I'm gonna make invisibility my main thing now. Go back to doing that. Oh, oh. Let's hope I wasn't gonna freeze again. What the hell? Why'd I switch to that? Now is the point where I can go up here. Was there stuff over here? Let's pop my visibility and collect some of the loot. These little areas. I see some materials and whatnot. How about the decoy? Help them out. Materials over here. That's hands, which I have a million of. Throughout the event, I didn't get any mod uh, or any alert mods. Kind of hoping those alert only mods would drop. I know I get the one at the end of the event, but something leveled up. 30 kills, yeah, that's, that's gonna happen here. What else is leveled up? Give me a hip by. Decor over there. They have toxic gates and tentacle monsters. Okay, okay. Can't do much in there. Yep, nothing really changed with this event. This is the same thing. It's kind of disappointing. Kind of hoping they would uh, go all out for the last day. It says that it's Tuesday. I don't know if they'll have everything on Tuesday. Yeah, now it's the monster thing, but Kunai's aren't that great against monsters, it seems, uh, when they get to the higher levels. As opposed to human enemies, which they just shred. They start like level 100, and then nothing I do <laughs> hurts them.
the visibility give me some loot what's over here other than death horrible horrible death weapon at this point. Ratten. <laughs> the first Ratten you get. I have a sniper rifle now, but um, I want to get this out of my inventory too. Doing like two damage. <laughs> Jeez. Pop that visibility and get that mod over there. Maybe some ammo too. He's down. Okay, let's pop that visibility hit over there. I'm being hurt by something. Now that we're in like the 16 minute mark, uh, I can't do much damage. Keep popping that decoy out. Yeah, Guild Wars 2 has um, a look for group now that they're adding. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be pretty awesome. That's like the one, not really annoyance I had with the game, but it's like definitely a quality life changer. And they're planning to send the crafting system, which is awesome as well. I know it's completely unrelated to this game, but... They're kind of both free to play, even though you buy Guild Wars 2, and not like I can talk about much other than, hey, my two damage, let's talk about that. And me forgetting to throw out my decoy. But, uh, yeah. Definitely have fun with the game. I have a Mesmer that's at max level, a couple other random ones. That birthday gift was pretty awesome as well. One character up to 20, 100%. Uh, all like the magic find and gold find for 24 hours in a mini. Pretty good for each character, I say. Unfortunately, I messed around with my characters and just couldn't really figure out what class I wanted, so I only had one character from the, the launch of the game. <laughs> so I only got one present, but I have multiple other characters eventually get to that point where I just get multiple presents for free. So I have enough slots for one of each class. The mission is complete. Skana's at 23, Breton's at uh, 19. Not too bad, not the best run. I want to leave the session, let's see if anything's changed. That's just a random uh, event. I guess the survivor die is just the Cassini. Alright, thanks for watching.